and welcome back folks to yet another exciting episode of Call of Pripyat. We are actually kind of interested in the northwestern part of this area. Oh look at that, there is a stash here. Must have missed that earlier. Um, north of, uh, what's it called, Kopachi. There are some areas that we want to explore, so why don't we head quickly to pick up that stash and then we'll make a beeline towards the west, yeah. Sounds like a plan. I'll try to get some of the stuff along the way. Yeah. Mm. Stalkers, always nice to have them around. They are our friends now. Right. Um... Yeah, th there's a lot of stuff to do, and I'm not even sure in which order to do it. Oh, look at that, there's a little village up on that hill. I don't think I went there ever. Maybe it's not even possible. We'll see. Ah, so there is something here. I think I actually tried to check this pier out last time, but... Oh yeah, also, this is fenced off. Um, but I, I guess I missed that stash last time. There are a couple of stashes that I vaguely know the area or the location of, but I'm not too sure about. So yeah, that's gonna that that's bound to happen a few more times. Um, the next group of mutants that we're supposed to hunt or whatever it is, are uh, actually in the southeast of this area, so it's way out of the way. We'll have to check that out eventually. What's going on here? Whoa. Oh, guess they're killing zombies. Well, they they kind of suck at it, though. Why don't you shoot them? Well, just get back up, dude. Don't want that to happen. Oh. Alright. Wait. Oh, it does have a... Night vision device. Why couldn't I activate that before? I guess I must have pressed the wrong button or something. Cool. It does have a built-in one. That's cool. The the helmet I got, you know, the, the tactical helmet thing. Yeah. If I had read the description, I would have realized that too. I just spotted it there. It it said it said for including. What? Who? What? Who said that? Interrupting. We've been without water for two days, requesting a rescue mission. Help. That's kind of odd. What am I hearing? Maybe it's that zombie over there. No, apparently not. Don't know where those radio messages come from, but it's probably. Not relevant. I, I doubt that'll ever come into play again. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna keep that one. That's the one from the stash. That's actually in really good quality uh, condition. We can sell that. Eat, definitely. But I don't want to carry too much of this other junk. Yeah, this must be really annoying to watch when I keep sorting through the inventory. But it, it's a big part of this game, I'm sorry to say. Unless you don't care about money, but then why would you play this game? Right, uh, we're actually getting too far to the south. I need to head further north. Yeah. We're gonna head through Kopachi, or maybe to the north of it. And then we're gonna head basically even further north. Yeah, so there's the house that we went to with Uncle Yar. And now we are in a different place. It was nighttime last time we went here. Oh, look at that, there are some stalkers here. Well, that's good. Whoa. Looks like we just found a new anomalous field. And I think... I think I actually saw an artifact. Yeah, there we go. Let's try to get it. Only assume that the artifact is floating above us. No, here it is. Here it is. 
What? Stuck in the ground! Oh. What, 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 what? Ah. Uh. Okay. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm alright. Wow, that was confusing. And it's not even that great. But it, it helps with healing wounds and pr protects you from bleeding. More interestingly though, see that? It's a drone. Yep. Looks like it got shot down. We can search it and see what we can find. Ooh, a new mission. Unblocked a memory module. Interesting. Right, so that's what we came here for. Uh, yeah, let's let's leave this area now. And I don't want to run into any more fire anomalies. Please. There we go. Right. So, now I think we should probably... Yeah, we, we'll make our way towards the evacuation location that we kind of skimmed past last time. But on the way we're going to head to this new place called the Scientist's Bunker. Sounds interesting. Sounds also very promising because the scientists were always kind of ill. Useful. Thank you for being so slow. Otherwise, this could have ended badly. Yeah, I guess while we're here, we should probably not put away our gun. Kopachi will, will become more populated with enemies again and again, after all. I don't know why the zombies are drawn here, but they are. And I think we just found the bunker. Yeah, that thing up ahead there looks familiar to me. Oh, we got some shooting going on there. Whoa. That's another zombie. Alright. There we go, that was pretty easy, all things considered. Well, look at that, we got some more mercs here. Mercs and stalkers. Alright. Some sort of joint operation from the looks of it, and that guy has some interesting power armor. Let's talk to him. Is he like Hatchet? I wonder. Uh, uh, uh. Skull. He is not nice at all, and he doesn't want food either, so I don't know how to befriend Skull. But Skull actually reminds me of something. There was a character called Skull in the uh, first game, in... Shadow of Chernobyl. He was uh, he was actually one of the uh, guys in exoskeleton armor, one of the uh, duty soldiers that were hiding out in the army warehouses and, against orders, planned to attack Freedom's home base. So they were kind of, well, I don't know if you could call them deserters, I suppose, because they were not obeying orders, but anyway, they, uh, I think they died in my playthrough. Yeah, pretty sure they died, but not in, apparently not in this continuity because, well, unless it's a different skull. You never know, I mean, these names are kind of generic. Right. Hello. And another recurring character, Novikov. Notice anything about his armor? Yep, it's white and blue. It's another Clear Sky employee. That's actually the technician from Clear Sky from the Clear Sky base, who gave us that awesome uh, gun near the end. Well, let's get right to it. Can you unblock a memory module? 2000. That's, a, that's expensive, but sure, do it. Uh, what can you do? No Kevlar or weapons for spare parts, but he can patch up body armor. Oh. Okay. What about those mercs out there? They are not nice at all. Oh, he doesn't like them either. Uh, they lost whatever shame they had left and started asking how our equipment works. Huh. Tell me about the bunker. What does your lab do? Okay. It's just generic research. That's basically it. 
Uh, I guess we can talk to the scientists themselves. He's more the, the technician, I suppose. What do you know about the zone? Yeah. Okay, yeah, he knows a bit about surviving the zone, clearly. I mean, he survived the prequel. <laughs> uh, how long have you been here? A while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you spend a year with a faction made up of former scientists. Obviously, clear sky. They died in a blind pursuit of some hazy goal. Hey, hey, hey. That's kind of sad. Oh well, that's all. But maybe, if he's so good with armor, maybe he can upgrade stuff for us. Well, he cannot upgrade that. He can fix it. Can't really do anything with that except repair it. And he cannot upgrade that. What good are you then? He needs additional information. Okay, well, I don't have any information for you. Well, we'll get back to him, Bye. surely. Okay, so. Uh, oh, look at that. Is that, that all? That doesn't look like stalker armor. He's military! Sokolov, second lieutenant. Where did you get that uniform? Yeah, he's from one of the crashed helicopters. Cool. He was the co-pilot. Why did you come here? Well... Oh, Jupiter Workshop. Only survivor... Then he met Gary and he led him here. What evacuation point? Oh, I guess we cannot reveal to him that we are military too. What do you do here? Oh, he, he wants to stay here, I suppose. Uh, well, I don't think the operation will ever be completed if every helicopter crashed, so that can take a while. Well, I'm sure we can get back to him too. So this must be Gary. Yeah, it is. Welcome to boredom. <laughs> is it boring? You bet, there's nothing to do. Backgammon. Oh, he wants to go to Pripyat. That's cool. What about your contract? Uh-huh. Except one thing. He needs to find all chemical artifacts. Maybe I can help you with that. So he needs a color box and a meat chunk artifact. Okay, what's so special about Pripyat? Um, well, people went there, but they came from the south. We are kind of north of Pripyat right now, or northwest. So that's a different route that we would have to take. Do you really know the way there? No, he doesn't. I, but he's very confident he n would know how to get there. Okay, now we only have one color bug right now, and I actually need that, so we're gonna hold on to that. I may have a meat chunk artifact back at Yanov Station, so uh, I think we are we are okay. We can probably finish his contract for him soon, but in the meantime, we should probably talk to these guys. Eh, very well, come on over, Herman. What can I do for you? How about you move your lips when you talk? That would be nice. Uh, 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 what are you doing? Ooh, drugs. I'll take those. Okay. Uh, do you need any help? Uh-huh, samples. Okay, what about those samples? Yeah, they got a stalker team, okay, and there's a psi field. What needs doing? A mutant lair, hmm. Only a controller could survive in that psi field, okay. Oh, oh, okay, I guess I'm more protected against psi fields than the other stalkers are. And we are supposed to get a sample oh, that we don't even know what it is. Nice it's essential a mission for signs of psi fields, I suppose. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll do it. Sure. What are the mercs doing? 
Protection of the lab, uh-huh. He had no choice but to recruit them. Well, you could always recruit locally, I suppose, but okay, you got the mercs now, so what do you do? Uh, what is the purpose of your research? Fundamental research, okay. Logical explanation for the things we see in a zone. That's a very broad subject, I would assume. Okay, what do you know about the zone? Not much. Uh -huh. The zone evolves. That kind of fits with the whole living bit that some people keep mentioning. Serious changes. Mm. Alright, and how long have you been here? About a week. Wow, your lab looks really run down, considering how... Well... Oh, he did visit the Sakharov, though. That's cool. Guess we don't get to see him this game, but at least he, you know, by proxy, we know Sakharov now. Uh, okay, so these mobile labs are always staffed, I suppose. Right, whatever. Thank you for the mission. And this, of course, is Ozerski. Right. Oh, he's also a professor. Okay. Uh, how resistant am I to psi fields? Uh, scientific research complex. What? A field kit. Okay. Um, I guess psionics are just accepted now. Okay. Uh, my head is in order, I hope. Oh, okay, I won't lose consciousness immediately because of Psy, basically. So I hope I, I'm plenty resistant then. Okay, do you need help with something? Uh, in what, the Oasis? No, I haven't heard of that yet. Uh, it's a place with healing waters that heals wounds and replenishes energy. I suppose stamina is what they mean. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure, I'll try to find it. Um, sounds like a myth, but maybe we can do it. What do you think about the mercs? No, he doesn't want to talk about them. Oh, but they are reliable in protecting them, apparently. Well, I guess they have t some zombies to shoot every now and then, so that makes sense. So what are you doing here? Yeah, researching is again very broad. No specific objective, that's cool. <laughs> uh, I guess it's frontier science of sorts. Do you know about the zone? Some new force. Well, we know kind of what that force was, don't we? At least if we, uh, if you watch the Let's Play of the first game. They explain a little bit about the sea consciousness and all that. Um, yeah, pig would need many years to mutate. And especially its descendants would not a pig itself. In a couple of years. Well, if somebody actually directly altered the genetic information, you'd think that um, they would have some sort of direction, that, but it seems rather random. I mean, what's the purpose of turning a pig into a flesh? That's not really... I mean, it's just a messed up pig. It's not really... Uh, it doesn't seem directed at all. So, I don't know about this hypothesis that, that somebody directly altered the genetic information. Uh, that's weird. Okay, how long have you been here? Also just a week, okay. I wonder how long the... Uh, how long the uh, lab has been here, though. I mean, it looks rusted and all. I mean, maybe they dropped it in here in that state already. Maybe it's an old lab. Look at that. Um... But maybe it's it's been here way longer than either of these two professors have been. I mean, I don't know. It's a mobile lab, though, so maybe it was dropped in by helicopter. Anyway, Novikov apparently uh, has something to say about the memory module. 
There we go, we got some stash coordinates. What about the sci field? Oh, it's science -y. okay. Yeah, we don't want to get our brains fried. Right. Okay then. Well, we got stash info and this unblocked memory device. And... Yeah. So actually, um, one of the stash infos that we would have received was the one at the cement factory. The one underground that we already got. There's this one. And I think there's also this one. I think. So the other two that we have here and here are actually info that we got elsewhere. Oh, and there's also one here. Look at that. Um, so yeah, we need to find all three. That's kind of important. But I think we had enough fun for one day and a lot of talking. So next time... Thank you. Next time we will actually talk to these stalkers and do the mission for the scientists. And maybe then we can deal with the remaining stash info. We'll see. So, see you next time, folks. Bye.